In this tutorial, I want to show you guys an easy way to dodge and burn your images by simply drawing lines. So oftentimes when you're doing skin retouching, especially us that use frequent separation, the images tend to turn out to look a little bit flat and they end up to look boring to the people that are looking at them. Oftentimes we tend to tamper with the original contouring on the images, especially the contouring that was done by the makeup artist. When they are adding highlights in the shadows to the images, when they are applying the makeup onto the model. So, in this tutorial, I'll show you guys a very simple technique in which you're just going to simply draw lines onto the images after retouching them in order to bring back that shape and three dimensional kind of look to your images in Photoshop. So, remember, this is the image I had uh, after doing my frequency separation. And this is the image after doing the dodging and burning to it. And you can see that it is really looking eye-catching and attractive when it has the dodging and burning and it has that kind of depth and 3D kind of feel added to it. So I'm just going to come and delete the dodge and burn so that we can learn everything from the very start. Remember, we are simply going to be using curves and simply drawing using a white brush. So I hope you're going to really find this interesting and let me first give you guys a moment to hit the like button so that you don't miss out and so that YouTube can push it to more people out there. And I hope you're done. So let's kick in and we start learning about this wonderful technique. So you're just going to come the adjustments and you're going to come the curves adjustment layer. And when you create this, remember dodging and burning is more of enhancing the highlights and the shadows in this image. So this is more of a global dodge and burn tutorial. So when you make this curves adjustment layer, come and make or click in the middle, make a midpoint and brighten. So this is going to be our dodging. So because it has simply brightened the image, you are going to come to the black mask and se select it and hit Control Command I, and you are going to name this dodge, just like that. And you are going to do the same for the burning. Come back the curves adjustment layer and make a midpoint. And this time around, darken. So don't take it all the way down. So just darken until the image is turning out to look a little bit underexposed. And make sure this white mask. And remember in Photoshop, white reveals and black hides. So we want to hide this effect from this image. So we're just going to hit Ctrl or Command I on this white mask. And you're going to name this Burn. Uh, so Right now, we're going to kick in to the major emphasis of this specific tutorial. So I'm just going to come to the black mask right here of the dodge and come to the brushes. So right click and come to the brushes. And for a settings, make sure it is the hardness is at zero. So meaning this is a soft round brush. Opacity at 100 and the flow at 100%. So make sure you are selected on this black mask. So remember, we just want to reveal or bring back the effect that was hidden behind this black mask. So remember what we have to do. We have to get a white brush, which is going to reveal the effect hidden behind this black mask. So we're just going to come on the color swatches and make sure you reset them by clicking on these two squares right here to get black and white. And in order to get white on top, you can use X on the keyboard or you can alternatively use these arrows to get white on top so meaning the brush is set to white so for the dodge you are just going to draw lines on every area that has a highlight in the image and in order to increase or decrease on the size of the, the brush you can use the box brackets on the keyboard so just come and draw a line on that highlight so we have a simple highlight on the forehead and one right there and on the chin area right there. So we are simply drawing lines on where we feel like we should have highlights. So if at all you have a smaller area, reduce on the size of the brush and draw a smaller shape like that. So that is all for the dodging and you're going to do the same for the burning. Come and select this black mask for the burn. So remember, burning is more of enhancing the, the shadows in the image. So burning is for the shadows and dodging is for the highlights so we have to draw lines on the areas that have shadows in order to burn them so i are just going to come right here and 
increase on the size slightly because the burn area is a little bigger so I'm just going to draw a line right there to burn and come the nose area because it looks a little bit flat and draw a line right there so that we can burn and I think that looks fine I could even push it this side so I think that looks okay and burn right there we have a shadow burn it and burn right here so I could come back and enhance this highlight so I think that looks fine so I'm going to come back to the burn and I also burn this area so I'm basically burning particular areas in the image so I think that looks fine so the next thing is going to be having to fade this into the image so that it can fade into the model skin so in order to do that we are simply going to double click right here on this black layer mask so when you double click you are going to get this properties option or alternatively you can simply come to window and come to properties and you'll have the same option right here so we want to fade this into the model skin so we want to fade these black lines into the model's shadow area so come to the feathering down here and simply left click and start moving gradually until you're starting to see this fade into the model's skin so you have to stop up, up to a point when you feel like you're really comfortable with that and i think that looks fine and you're going to do the same for the dodging so come and select the dodge black layer mask and simply start moving it up to a point when it starts fading into uh, the model skin and stop up to a point when you feel like it is okay and it is not distorting uh, the original colors in your images so i think right there is fine so let's see the before and after for the dodging and burning of this image so this is the before and after for the dodging i hope you can see how this has transformed the highlights in this image and this is the before and after for the burning and when you feel like it is too much for your liking you can simply come and reduce on the opacity and when you feel like you want to eliminate particular areas for example where you painted and you feel like the effect is too much you can simply come and change the brush to black and simply eliminate or paint away the effect from particular areas but after applying it and you feel like it is affecting colors in the image you can simply come and change the blend mode to luminosity and come to this one too and change it to a luminosity so that it doesn't affect the color values in the image so the next thing is going to be we're just going to group this select both by holding down control command and hit control command g on the keyboard and we can name this uh, dodge and burn so hit enter and this is the before and after before after so you can come and reduce on the opacity depending on what you're trying to go in for or the look you're trying to go in for and this is all for today's tutorial ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating